if a New Yorker can't save this country, no one can. During his rally in the deep blue South Bronx, former President Trump pledged to turn New York red. It won't be easy. First of all, he's a big fat bigot. He's a crook, a liar, and a cheat. New York City has voted for the Democratic presidential candidate in every election since 1924. Last night, several thousand people showed up for Trump. It doesn't matter whether you're black or brown or white or whatever the hell color you are, it doesn't matter. We are all Americans. The district is more than 50 percent Hispanic and 30 percent black or African-American. But polls show Trump making gains against President Biden among those groups, largely because of concern about the border and the economy. These millions and millions of people that are coming into our country, the biggest impact and the biggest negative impact is against our black population and our Hispanic population who are losing their jobs, losing their housing, losing everything they can lose. Trump promised to deport undocumented immigrants, lower crime and further reduce inflation, a message the crowd wanted to hear. He uh, saved the country. Uh, we were in great shape. Now we're in terrible shape. Earlier, the Biden campaign launched a series of TV and radio ads challenging Trump's claims about his accomplishments for the black community. Of course I hate these people. The ad begins with Trump saying, of course, I hate these people, a remark he made in 1989, referring to the men who were accused and later wrongly convicted in the brutal rape of a jogger in Central Park in what became known as the Central Park Five case. Donald Trump disrespecting black folk is nothing new. He was sued for refusing to rent his apartments to black families and called for the execution of five innocent black and brown teenagers. And it's more than anger, it's hatred. The Trump campaign called the ad another cheap attempt from the Biden campaign to gaslight black voters. Trump's visit to the Bronx was his fourth campaign stop in New York during his criminal hush money trial. The jury in that case returns Tuesday for closing arguments.